Good morning, everyone. Surf Gal. Playing some more Ender Lilies. Uh, I think we're going to try and go forward. I'm not sure what's going on with this one, but I think I want to try going to a new area rather than going backwards. This one was clearly unlocked by the powers we just got. So I think we're going to start here. That looks terrifying. Boss? Not a boss, just a really tough new enemy. Okay. I suppose I also don't actually know how tough that is. I'm just not used to it. That actually wasn't... Yeah, they're not too bad as long as you can actually get behind them. Okay. Just being in close quarters right off the bat kind of put me off there. Lots of different options for... Relic that increases max HP is good. I think our other one says slightly increase max HP, so I'm guessing that that is uh, the difference between those two. Honestly, the fact that there are two charges right there is pretty cool. Yeah, this Executioner Axe is definitely a good option for these enemies since it automatically hits from behind. I guess we try going back down there, because I think that's the last room. Like, that appears to have, at least could be the last room. So I'm assuming this elevator is going to go all the way through now. 
Okay, that's cool. And once again, that opens up a path. I'm a little confused as to where this area to the right is and where the top exit is. I don't remember seeing anything here. Yeah. These enemies are really rough. Um, <laughs> I'm genuinely not sure we're supposed to be here yet, but that's kind of been the last several sections. Um, I kind of want to try going up and down here as well, just to see what the options are. I think that I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, yeah, it looks like the upward might just be, okay, but down looks like it's, uh, entrance there, so that's doable. Hey, that has splashback. Okay. So we get... We have a faster route through this section now, at least. Uh, was it down here? Fight one enemy. Centaur. That's terrifying. Anytime there's new enemies, there's a bit of that, ooh, that's terrifying, to it. Um, okay. We have learned that under certain conditions, the regenerative bodies, er, regenerative rot in the bodies of the blighted is capable of fusing multiple life forms into one. I'm curious what becomes of multiple souls in the fused body. Okay. I'm guessing that's how centaurs are made. <laughs> that's terrifying. Royal Aegis Crest. Uh, we're not underwater, so let's go ahead and just do this. Max HP up. Uh, nothing else in this room. It's just a little side chamber with a respite. 
I'm okay with that. Uh, luckily, these things don't hit super hard. At least with their physical attacks. I guess they... I haven't seen... I mean, I guess I did have to heal after it, so that's something. Ironically, the more this is going on, the more I'm kind of wishing that I had something a little bit longer range uh, instead of the Whirlwind here. that. Oh, that is just the left exit. And this looks like it connects to... previous room. Priestess Doll. Relic increases maximum number of uses for healing prayer by one. Okay. I'm not complaining. So I'm assuming that this is where I would be returning. I'm going to start out over here. Okay, that's something that needs red okay so we finally got the strikes enemy she finds on the ground with melee attacks okay that's Interesting. the dash to get more of that but i'm assuming that, or, and i'm assuming that this is going to be okay so that's the wall but i actually can't get over it and there isn't a way back okay i was hoping that there'd be like a gate that we could open or like a something that would lower that area for us i don't know And I'm assuming that this is either going to be like this top right corner is probably going to be a falling one. So we got a new spirit. That's not a, that's never a bad thing. Amulet fragment. Yep, definitely need something else, uh, based on the way that I'm doing movement for this. Like, it's good in very specific situations, and it's probably better underwater than some of the options, but definitely wishing that I had longer range attacks for that most of the time.
Okay, so that's the passage back up. We're still missing something, but I think it was a red door that we can't get through yet. I know we're not going to get very far, given how much health we are down right now. Continuing to look at options to rearrange here. Um, I don't necessarily like this spirit combo. So, I'm kind of curious about this. I'm kind of feeling like we want to do Axe. Like this one, we're very up close, which makes me feel like getting... Actually, you know what? Let's do Axe and Seagrid here. And then let's try this. I'm curious about that one more than anything. Um. Wait, do we still have do we still have the reduced damage? Okay, yeah, we'll just do that. Doll and statue each gives up by one. Um. How much does that increase max HP? We're at 253 currently. If we unequip that, we're at 30, so that's 20 something. button. Heals 163. Pushing the wrong button. Okay. So, once again, it is more efficient the max HP up one is like 20 some hit points, which is pretty good. Um, but the spring water increases my healing by 30. And since I get five charges of this, that means it's effectively 150 more hit points if I'm using it effect efficiently for only one slot instead of two. Versus the crit, uh, the crest, which is twenty something base. Um. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to rusty blue ornament for now. It's honestly not the best option, but I don't really want this, and I don't feel like this is as good. And it's definitely better than this. So my thought is, this gives us, so we can stake this and then dash behind and get two sides where we're applying pressure. And that if there are other enemies that are slightly out of reach or that are at a different angle, I can dash and then if I have to dodge and cancel out, I can use that. I'm curious about this one.
Okay, this works kind of like the other familiar, actually. This is pretty... This is decent. I like this combination. This gives me... Or this actually gives me a really good... Yeah, yeah, let's try this. It gives me a lot of pressure up close, which is the goal. And then I've got that for range. And then let's try this real quick. doesn't seem like it's working quite as well, but I also don't think it's not working. Holy crap. Okay, with that boost back on, that was a lot of healing. This is definitely going to be better in the air as well. Okay, the upgraded Mushroom Sorcerer hits really hard. feeling much more confident in this now. Um, this is a good setup. I'm, I'm, I'm digging this. I know it's not necessarily going to be the best setup all the time. One of the things I like, I, another thing rather, that I like about this game is uh, that as you move to different areas, different setups become more viable. Like, against different enemies and such. So, like, in this case, against these shield enemies, being able to apply pressure from both sides is way more important. I feel like this setup against these particular enemies is really good. Blight Breathed Blade. Another experience increase. Honestly, again, I don't feel like we need it. I feel like I'm getting levels all the time without trying. So, hey, there's something up there in the top right corner that we couldn't get to slash can't get to. Let's try. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get to it easily.
guessing that unlocks the door. Maybe? <laughs> that was a lot of enemies. I'm assuming that's... Okay, never mind. We're not done yet. That got us our exit. Oh, we're out of heals. Whoops. Whoops again. Did not expect him to get knocked back there. That's too bad. Okay. Well, the good news is we've explored a lot. The bad news is that we explored a lot, but didn't find a respite point. I'm wondering if it's up and to the left there. Um, I think I'm going to try and get back to that area. Those red knights in particular feel like this is a very good build against them. Unfortunately, that grate is back in place, which means we have to probably clear that entire room again, but I think this is where I was trying to get. I'm guessing this is our... yep. That's our respite. Um, that's more experience. Where's our enhancement sitting? I kind of want to save up for this. And I think for this one, honestly, Dark Executioner has so many charges that that feels really good to potentially get even more cooldown on. In order to defend the Twin Spires, we Knights of the Bastion took an odd elixir and became immortal today. I would have much preferred if we didn't have to rely on forbidden magic, but even if it means making ourselves undead, we must protect our great nation. Even when stained with the blight, the knight must never lose pride in their duty. Okay, that's a choice. Um, so we can get back to this respite point now. I'm gonna go ahead and just try jumping down here. That was actually what I was hoping for. Enemies will be more easily stunned by attacks. That is my new favorite thing.
and we're gonna go oops return to respite i just realized there's a quest menu there that i've never seen or noticed rather how much is this three that's unfortunate um this is so the stun effect is that orange bar or pink bar on some bosses and it opens the enemies up it's one of the things that i love about the club versus some of the other weapons is that it hits so hard uh specifically on their stun bar um i'm kind of tempted to force that in here let's try it at least and we'll pick back up here next time because we have been going for a while so Hopefully you are still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.